Louisiana beer reviews. We're back. We'll do a little quick video because my bad looking at Dragon Stout Fire. This is very rare. Very rare. And I'm not joking about that. It's so rare. It's not even listed on the website for the distributor. And they list the Dragon Stout. And who makes this? Since we're going on. Desnos and Gettys, the same people that make Red Stripe. Okay. So it's made by the Red Stripe people. In Jamaica, and it's 10%. Now the, Jamaica, reg me crazy. the regular Dragon Stout is seven and a half. This is 10, but this is a tiny bottle. It's only a 9.6 ounce bottle. Okay, well let's pop it open and do it before we lose a uh, battery. And all patience from all this noise. Oh, driving mad. So it, it, this was expensive. It was, it was $16 for a six pack. Hey, you don't need to get 10 ounces? No. That's insane. You drink this stuff in Jamaica, they say it's good for men. Why? Well, it's just good for men. For vitality, what oh, they say. Oh, labido, labido. I don't want to go into... But anyway, um... Like oysters. The funny thing about this product is this was actually produced before Red Stripe. In 1920, Red Stripe didn't come out until the late 20s. So it's 10% and they add sugar to it. It's really strong, and it's not barrel yeah. aged, but it's. Uh, well, I don't have my glasses, so I really can't see this too well. But I'll hold it at a distance, I can see it a little better. Um, so why do they call it Dragon Stop? And why is it Dragon Stop Fire? You okay, said because of the alcohol. Content yeah, because the regular is. Dragon Stop is seven and a half. This is okay. ten, and over over in Europe, it's called Dragon Stop Spitfire. So did you did you try the regular Dragon Stop? Oh yeah, it's very nice. Okay, so that's very nice, and so you went for the upcharge of the alcohol. Same price for either one, but I wanted to get the 10, yeah. Indeed. Cheers. See, I know you've never had this. No? Yeah. It smells like raisins to me. Like It's those... like a little bubble gum going on with it, too. <sighs> Almost like a Belgian yeast. Yeah, it's real strong in the nose. No, you can really smell it. It's got that kind of old, hard, yellow, oh, excuse me, pink, powdered sugar gum that you used to get when you were a kid for two cents, three cents, whatever. In some cases, two for a penny. Believe me, this smells and tastes like no other stout you've ever had in your life. It is unique. No, it's got that Belgian and this little confection sugar going on with it. I'm getting a whole lot of flavors out of this. But it was started by English guys in British-controlled Jamaica in the 1920s. Um, you know, Jamaica used to be a British colony. Still a realm, Queen Elizabeth, still a queen of Jamaica, but it's independent today. All right, so no barrel age. It's sweet. You know, they add sugar. It's sweet. Yeah, it's, it's sweet like rum sweet. That makes sense, Caribbean rum. Oh, damn. 